Yeah, we're beauty's big sister. Check it. Uh. I'm back! Girls, it has been so long and I am so, so sorry. Callie's off. She's had enough already. She's just like, who are you talking to? Callie, I know we haven't filmed in here before. I know. But this, this is where we film for what I got for Christmas. <laughs> Um, I think that this video is a little bit pixelated. Where I haven't filmed a video in so long, I'm actually missing, I can't find so many things, including my vlogging camera and my charger for my vlogging camera. Brilliant. So um, I'm on my other camera. Anyway, chat along. Hi, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of that. I am so sorry that it's been so long. The end of last year just was a lot. I got really like super sick at the end of last year, like the week before Christmas. Um, like honestly, I don't think I've ever been so ill. I had the proper flu, which I've never had before, and it was it was not fun by any means. Um, so yeah, I just pretty much sat on the sofa and slept for a week. Um, so that was not fun. Um, I'm only, to be honest, just starting to feel like properly back to normal. Um, it's really lingered on. It's, it's not been nice at all. But I've had to also switch off the top half of the Christmas lights to be able to put on my lights behind. So I do have lights all across my Christmas tree. It's, it's purely for the lights behind. Please let me know how you are. Please let me know how your Christmas was, what you got for Christmas. I, if you don't like watching these videos, you don't need to watch this. Um, I'm not bragging at all about what I got or showing off, but I really like to watch these kind of videos and I thought you might too. So yeah, if you do want to see what I got for Christmas and what I bought myself for Christmas, <laughs> then just keep watching. I actually got this mug. For Christmas with a D on it. I don't think you can ever have enough mugs and you know when you they've been through the dishwasher a lot of times they can start to look a little bit faded like the colours in it and stuff so I had a little bit of a mug clear out and I got this beautiful new mug and I have let me show you two of the bougiest mugs ever. Sorry but I feel like my homeware game has just stepped up another notch. The fact that I've got these mugs in my life these are from my friend for Christmas and she is like the coolest friend like she always buys me the coolest things and she's got a, an amazing eye for things I hadn't even seen these before but apparently they are trending they are the cool new mug brand this is from John Jonathan Adler and they have the most amazing lipstick um, like embossing on the mug and they're a really good size. They're a really nice shape. I haven't used them yet because I'm too scared. These are gonna come out for like best occasions um, and for when I'm just in the kitchen sitting down because I'm very clumsy. And I, I just wanna guard these with my life because they're so pretty. But yeah, these are very, very Instagrammable, very cool mugs. Some new bath sheets, which if you have bath towels, not bath sheets, I would so recommend <laughs> trying a bath sheet because they are so much bigger and just uh, amazing. And these are really nice fluffy ones with a it's like silver piping through it. And Callie is chewing her bones. Sorry about that. <laughs> to move Callie into the other room with her bone, but she's not having any of it. So I'm very sorry for the noise you're about to hear from this puppy. I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> okay, so my main present from Steve, which was just like ridiculous and oh, I'm just so excited. So basically I opened a new phone case, which I so needed, like my other Serena Day's phone case was battered. Um, so it was definitely like needed. So I was trying to put it on my phone and I was like, did you get the right size? Like it won't fit. Which then he gave me another present and I got a new phone, which I'm very excited about. The camera is amazing. It's just all nice and new and fresh and oh, it was just so needed. I, I really, really wanted a new phone. So this was such a surprise. I didn't have a clue what he was gonna get me. So yeah, I was really, really surprised by this. And then went on the camera roll of the phone and he'd edited a video 
we're going to Barcelona, which is one of my favorite places. Um, but the most exciting thing about the trip, um, oh, I'm just so excited, it's not until July. Um, and he's never been to Barcelona, it's one of my favorite places ever. Um, I didn't go last year, so I'm so excited to go back. And we're seeing Harry Styles there in concert. I've never been to a concert abroad before like in another country and i'm just so excited i want to see harry styles in concert so bad so i'm honestly just so 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 excited to go so that's in july amazing amazing present she's obsessed with slippers these aren't a present for christmas from him but he did get me them and i haven't showed you guys on youtube yet and i have been wearing these to death I jumped on the trend, I absolutely love them, they are so comfy. I've got the Ugg Tasman slippers, which Callie wants to chew and I won't let her. Um, no, they do come up quite small, but they have stretched over time, so I would just say go for your normal size if you can. Um, so I'm between a six and a seven, and these are a six. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to see Mrs. Doubtfire in the theatre. I love, love, love the film, and it's coming to London theatres next year. So, yeah, really excited. This was from my mum and dad, so we're going to be going with Steve to see this at the theatre next year. Okay, I've took the bone away because it was so loud. And I think it's going to be so irritating in this video. Um, this is something I bought for myself. I actually bought one for my nan as well. This is from Cozy Home. And it is the softest, most beautiful and warm heated throw. Oh, the difference this has made to my life. I can't even do you. I live in a very, very cold flat. I've got high ceilings. It's so cold in here. She's trying to steal my slippers. This dog... Like, when does the puppy stage start to calm down? That's, that, that's what I want to know, because I can't even film a video. <laughs> but yeah, I had heard really good things about Cozy Home. They're on QVC. They were sold out at the time, so I couldn't get it from QVC. But I've heard such good things. It's got like an auto switch off, which makes me feel better because I do get scared with these kind of things. But the fact it's got an auto switch off, and it is so cheap to run as well. They say it's about like 4p an hour which is so much cheaper than heating the whole flat, which I have to put it up to like 24, 25 to be able to get any heat in this flat. So it's super, super expensive. So yeah, really excited about this. The only thing I will say is it does feel like it doesn't heat up the whole throat. It's just like areas of it. Is that normal? Or do I need to speak to them? Because yeah, it's not the whole blanket that heats up, but it does get really nice and warm and I've been really enjoying it. Again, this was really unexpected and a really, really nice surprise from Steve's family. They got me this Kate Spade bag, which I haven't actually took all the wrapping off yet. So let me do that so you can properly see. But this is so nice and like so handy for when I am going into town, working, it's this beautiful cream bag. I love Kate Spade, such a nice designer. And then you've got a long strap, which I need to, I think, cut off. It's a lot of wrapping to this. Yeah, I love, love, love this cream long strap to this. So I'll probably switch out this fabric one because I feel like I would get this dirty, you know, like with when you put on a bit of makeup and then you've got makeup on your hands, I could see that happening. But it's a really nice like tan colour, but you can switch it out for this nude um, ivory shade one as well, which I really, really like. And I feel like in like spring, summer, this is going to be a really nice bag to have. Um, so yeah, I love the gold detailing of this as well. And I've also got the purse to match which is so handy. I mean, from day to day, I normally just use a card holder, but this will be so handy for when I'm going on holiday, because when I go on holiday, that's when I've got the currency with me, and that's when I'm carrying more cash than I normally would for when I'm like just going into London, or on a day-to-day -day basis. It's more when I go on holiday, I'm like, where do I put all my cash and coins? So this is really handy, because you've got like a coin section here i've got all my cards here there's actually loads of card slots so i can fit loads in here as well as all the notes at the back there you've got two 
two sections actually. So yeah, really nice that this matches as well. How cute! I know that the most exciting things come in yellow envelopes. Um, as I said, oh, I, when family was asking like what I wanted for Christmas, there wasn't anything I really wanted, so I didn't really know what to say. I was like to do something or a voucher. So my brother and sister-in-law got me a Selfridges voucher, which I'm super happy about because I got quite a few for my birthday, for my 30th this year. So I'm just gonna add this to my collection and keep on asking for Selfridges vouchers for like birthdays and Christmases. And then hopefully I can build up enough money to buy myself something really special. I would really love a bangle. A bangle that I just don't take off, that I can shower in, that I can sleep in. That's what I would like to get with my Selfridges vouchers, so I'm going to keep on saving and then hopefully at some point I will treat myself. So yeah, most of my presents were like vouchers or things to do, um, but these are some little things that I got from some of my favourite beauty brands. So I got a Charlotte Tilbury stocking to add to my Charlotte Tilbury stocking collection because I've got a few now from over the years. So I've got this um, Revitalizing Magic Mini Skin Set, which is gonna be so handy for when I go away. These minis are so cute. I've got a mini of the Magic Cream and the Serum. I have also got in here, oh, a Magic Mini Brush Set. Again, so handy for on the go. Love that, very excited about that. I have the Hypnotizing pop shot easy color to make your eyes pop uh, this is in the shade sunlit diamond and it looks like the most insane packaging it's got like jewels on it i would bring you closer but i'm not filming on my vlog camera so it can't automatically focus which is super annoying oh, this is beautiful i will do a video with some new charlotte Tilbury products as i have got some um but this is like a beautiful gold bronze cali the patience i have had to have with raising this dog right stop i feel like i'm fully equipped for motherhood because she has been a problem child. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is so, so pretty. I also have the Pillow Talk Crystal Dimension Eyeliner. Um, this is in the shade, it's not got a shade. Pillow Talk, is it? I think this is a Pillow Talk one. Oh, it's a nice gel eyeliner. Oh, that is nice. Sorry, I feel like you're not even gonna be able to see any of these products, but I just wanted to show you because I was excited to get a Charlotte Tilbury delivery. Then from OPI, my faves. Um, I am, obviously, if you've been watching, watching my channel for a while, you will know that I adore OPI. I am the UK brand ambassador for them and I just adore them. So if you ever wanna buy from the OPI UK website, you can use my code daisy20 which gives you 20% off um, so that's like active all year round now which is super exciting OPI for Christmas sent me this amazing book it's called I'm not really a waitress which if you're an OPI fan you will know that that's an iconic shade for the brand it's that this shade here this beautiful deep shimmery red and this is the book from Susie Wise Fishman who is the co-founder of OPI and I am so excited to read this book because I have um, you know listened to a lot and watched a lot of YouTube videos of interviews with Susie because I'm just fascinated by her and her story about how she grew this global brand like OPI are the number one nail brand in salons worldwide globally she's the co-founder like it was her idea um so one of my new year's resolutions is to get back into reading because i've been a bit lapsed with that and i think this is the perfect start to do that so this is how one woman took over the beauty industry one color at a time how amazing is that if you haven't read that book i will feed back once i finished it but i'm sure it's going to be an amazing read also massively massively spoiled me Look at this from Fortnum and Mason. They sent this amazing champagne bottle um, and it says Merry Christmas with love from your OPI family. Champagne with my name on it and my handle. It was got chocolates in there as well, which is just so, so kind of them. Um, it looks very, very fancy. I'm like, how can you ever throw this box away? It's just too good to throw away. London is a brand that I work with so much. 
um, I adore them and they gave me some gorgeous little macaroons and they also gave me a new gold necklace to add to my carrot collection um, all of my jewellery pretty much except from my necklace um, all of the jewellery I wear is normally Carrot London they're my favourite jewellery brand and this is a beautiful gold star pendant that they have gifted me for Christmas which is so so lovely of them so I love Carrot London and super grateful to work with them because they're such a nice brand one of my favourite brands to work with and I worked really closely with them in um, at last year with Serena Days and myself um, from Shantneys so they have gifted me a stay which I'm so excited to go back because oh the thought of being in a spa right now is just too exciting so they have given me a Shantneys robe which oh, I mean I just can't wait to take this away with me and it has my name embroidered on it which is just so so lovely of them. Got some treats in them as well. I got a bougie candle, that's actually what it's called. Pillow mirror, some eye mask and some face mask. So I'm gonna save these and take them with me when I go to Champneys. I think we're gonna go next month. I'm gonna take Steve. So yeah, it was so nice to chill. My favorite Champneys is at Forest Mare. Um, I absolutely just adore oh adore that spa it's gorgeous right, i was going to show you some of the gift sets that i got sent for christmas um so the Too faced greatest hits buzzing to have this um i've got the gorgeous mascara in there which i absolutely love this is just amazing the bobby brown vitamin enriched face based duo such a good moisturizer for underneath makeup and that's going to be so nice in the summer months oh i'm just now that christmas is done i'm so excited for summer i just can't wait for summer it's actually a really nice gorgeous bright sunny day today um so it's making me yeah it's giving me all the feels to get in to the summer mood really soon because i'm just over winter now also just really don't want to take down the christmas tree though so that's an issue because we are in the first week of january when everyone takes their decorations down and i'm in denial that it's over so yeah two very different phases don't want Christmas to be over, want summer to be here. I basically just want to skip this first bit of the year. This amazing, I love Bobbi Brown um, brushes. This is the best brush ever to exist, to be honest. I have two of them already. I'm excited to have another one because you can never have enough of this brush. It is the, what is it called? Like the essentials brush, the face essentials brush, something like that. Um, so good. Some gorgeous how beautiful is this packaging bits from bare minerals so we've got palettes i've got their mascaras i actually haven't tried this maximist mascara before um i love mac stack mascara this is good so this is a little duo here laura mercier got some really nice bits i love their lip products like how gorgeous is that lip gloss um so this is a really nice duo in here again all the packaging from laura mercier for christmas was absolutely just simply stunning to be honest that as a little stocking filler the bobby brown mini crush lip trio three of my favorite products right there from bobby brown i love their lip products anyway i know that it's not that useful to show you these now so i'm not going to go into too much detail about the gift sets because they're probably you know sold out now um but this let's just let's just open this so that oh, I feel like I did open this, didn't I, on live. Beautiful. If you are new here and you don't know, we do do a live stream on Monday at six. So I would love you to come and join if you can on here and over on Instagram. I try and do both at the same time, which is interesting. You <laughs> have to try and keep up with two comment sections. Um, is that everything? I feel like that's all my main bits that I got. In terms of New Year's resolutions, okay back to my youtube schedule back to posting um yeah it was all a lot last year i need to get back to it and i'm excited to get back to it i miss it so really excited to get back to youtube please let me know the kind of videos that you want to see i feel like tutorials are they even a thing anymore do people watch them do people do them i feel like it's more vlog style isn't it so if that's what you'd rather see i feel like a long because i used to do two 
videos of like makeup tutorials like yeah twice a week is it more useful to do just one really long video of testing everything trying everything what you know is that better let me know what you think in the comments below um tiktok gonna be trying to be more active on tiktok and try and stick to it because i think it is an app that i would really enjoy i just really really struggle for time which is where my next new year's resolution comes into play is to be more organized and structured so i really want to have a set time to wake up every day and plan my day i've seen these apps so i'm going to look into this at the weekend um but apps where you can schedule your days so you have reminders that pop up in your phone like you need to be moving on to this now um so that's what i'm going to try and do because i feel like if i was really super organized and structured and had reminders on my phone saying right 10 minutes go do a tiktok i feel like i would stick to it so that's another goal of mine I mentioned before about reading. Reading is something that I know mentally really, really helps me and helps me stay in a positive mindset. I got more used to listening to podcasts um, towards last year, but I feel like reading actually is just really good for helping me off my phone. Um, podcasts I really like to listen to while I'm like doing Serena Day's orders and things like that, but I really feel like I need that downtime of maybe I don't know, when I get in bed or maybe when I wake up. I'm not sure, I need to figure out a routine and figure out what I wanna do. Also drinking more water. I don't drink anything. I don't drink any water. I just drink tea back to back all day, which is great, but not great for you. So, and not great for your health. So um, I am drinking two liters of water a day, which I've stuck to so far. My skin is thanking me for it. I feel so much more just like clear headed and hydrated, I don't feel dizzy and lightheaded, which is really, really good. So sticking to that and also trying to be more healthy. So I have been cooking meals more rather than getting things that you just throw in the oven. Um, and just trying to get in some more fruit, some more veg. Um, you know, I'm not trying to go too extreme because I know that's, if I go too extreme, it's something that I won't keep up. So I need to be realistic with that. Um, but I'm just being a little bit more conscious about my decisions around food. And also money-wise. I'm going to try not just splurge money, be more, you know, mindful of what I'm spending and also saving because savings are non-existent right now after buying the flat. Um, it's all kind of gone, gone to pot. So this year, I need to be moving money across to, to save. So I have, you know, money behind me because being self-employed, you literally never know what's gonna happen, what you're gonna earn, what's gonna happen in a month. And 2021 was a really, really, really bad year for me, um, which is when I think I just dipped into so, like my savings so badly. Um, so yeah, just being more conscious of that. That's on my to-do list. Oh, also, to add to that list, I want to travel to at least one country that I haven't been to before this year. That's my plan. Um, that's what I would love to do. So yeah, I'm excited. You know, please don't feel the pressure to like, you know, do all these things and think I have to set goals and intentions and all this right now, which is why I haven't like been like, January the 1st, I need to do this, this, this. I'm still figuring it out in my head and I'm still planning the year in my head you don't need to action everything straight away don't feel the pressure because then that could be really intense and just make you feel anxious so do things at your own time um but let me know what your goals are if you have them if you don't you don't need to no, don't feel the pressure to um but i actually feel like i would massively benefit by putting these things into place um i know that my head would benefit from it a lot and I would actually be just a lot more productive and get a lot more done. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this new, new year. I can't believe that we're in a new year. I can't believe we're in 2023, but that was a quick year, wasn't it? But looking back, I feel like I, I had such a good year and I'd done so much. So I'm excited to see what this year has in store, but thank you for sticking around. Thank you for being here. Thank you for not leaving me. I'm sorry that my schedule just all went to to tit last year, but please do let me know your thoughts on yeah uploads and what you'd like to see. Um, I'm just thinking of what I like to watch and I do prefer to now watch like a vlog style kind of video. So 
yeah i think that might be the way forward once i find my vlogging camera it's definitely in a bag somewhere because i took it to portland <laughs> thank you so much beauties for watching this video i'm excited for a new year with you let me know what you've been up to and how you are in the comments below and i will see you in my next video bye Never like the glue on the lashes I'm flea like the brows Never throwing in a towel Always ready for the town Looking beautiful together You're stronger than ever Your community don't tether Yeah, your sister's forever Girls before you missed her Be part of a team Yeah, we're beauty's big sister It's said And put your girls before you missed her Be part of a team Yeah, we're beauty's big sister Check it